So, you got cut off by a Capricorn. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry. I know how hurtful and confusing that can feel. It can be a very cruel and mean thing to do sometimes for a Capricorn just to cut people off like that. But let's get to the root of the problem. Basically what happened was you upset the Capricorn or you crossed one of the Capricorn's boundaries and it kind of peeved or pissed the Capricorn off to the point that they said, you know what, I'm done. Is there a possibility to get back to where things once were? By the way, I'm Lamar Townsend. If you're a first-time watcher, thank you for listening and watching. I am a natural intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader, as well as an artist and a musician, a video editor, kind of a jack-of-all-trades. I would love to do a personal tarot reading for you. Please visit my website, lamartownsendtarot.com for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading and for uh, your own birth chart reading. I also provide birth chart readings. So, I kind of just want to show my shirt because it's David Bowie and I love David Bowie and he's a Capricorn. So, I thought that's really cool and fitting for this video. Um, so check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com, for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading or birth chart reading, or just to learn more about me, um, or to read and watch some personal reading testimonials from people who've actually gotten readings from me and come back. Okay, so I would also be grateful if you would follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend and like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video if you enjoy it, okay? So, Capricorn. Capricorn cut you off. Capricorns cut people off. Capricorns and cutting people off. I mean, Capricorns have the art of the, of the cutoff to... Like, they're just masters of it, you know? They are masters of the cutoff. They, and it doesn't matter how long you've known a Capricorn, it doesn't matter how close you are to a Capricorn, you could be family, your partner, the, you know, like, it, it, Capricorn does, doesn't matter. Capricorn has a certain boundaries, and once you cross those boundaries, one too many times, the thing is with a Capricorn is they'll let you slide, you know, a few times, you know, maybe more than a few times before they finally get fed up. There's usually one incident, one moment that happens that just is the straw that breaks the Capricorn's back, alright? And they're just like, I'm done. Once a Capricorn is done, done. Just done. But is there potential to get back to where things once were? Well... The thing with Capricorns is not every Capricorn is the same, you know, and I actually kind of want to do a video on this now that I'm thinking about it. For example, I find a difference between the December-born Capricorns and the January-born Capricorns because the January-born Capricorns are born, and I could go deeper and further in depth into this, but... In short, because the January-born Capricorns are born in the month of January, which is the start of the new year, you know, and um, it's also a... It can be an even colder month sometimes than December. Um, but at the same time, there is a kind of cool, chilly, reserved, detached laid-back air about January, whereas December is the month of technically Sagittarius, which is a fire sign, and, you know, Sagittarius is a very kind of action-oriented, sometimes mouthy, um, fire sign, you know, and 
I think December born Capricorns, because they're born in such a short frame of December as well, towards the end of December, which means they are born literally at the end of the year. You know what I'm saying? They're born at the end of the year, born in the month of Sagittarius. Tell tell me what the first thing is that comes to your mind when I say that. That's what a December born Capricorn is. You know, like a December born Capricorn is just much more fiery than a January born Capricorn. So it you know, no Capricorn is the same. Um, it really depends on first of all how that Capricorn truly feels or felt about you. <clears throat> Because one thing about a Capricorn, and I can even say this for myself because, by the way, I'm a Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Virgo Rising, Libra Moon. One thing I can say about a Capricorn is that when we really like someone and we really love someone and we really, you know, care for someone and regard them as someone that we hold dear to our hearts, we always come back. Even when we cut you off, we typically always come back. It might take a little while. Once again, depending on how stubborn your Capricorn is, I'm clearly not too stubborn because my Libra is, or my Moon is in Libra. You know, so I can't be mad at someone for too long. Although Libras can hold grudges for sure. Um, but you know, no Capricorn is the same. So it depends on how that Capricorn felt about you, how much trust was built in that friendship, or whatever. Um, because if there wasn't a lot of trust there, if the Capricorn didn't really like you too much, you guys weren't very close, you can pretty much kiss that Capricorn goodbye. Alright, unless, you know, that Capricorn, you know, later down the line needs something from you, or, you know... has some ulterior motive, you know, like, you know, like a Capricorn, when a Capricorn is done, they're just done, you know, um, and, you know, once a Capricorn cuts you off, it's interesting, it, that's like a defining point in a Capricorn relationship, by the way, you aren't the only one, you're not the first one that this has happened to when dealing with a Capricorn, with your Capricorn even specifically, I'm sure your Capricorn has cut other people off, I, I, cut people off, like, clockwork, like, not literally, but, like, I go through seasons, and maybe you are the same Capricorn, I just go through seasons, they seem, like, free, more free, frequent lately, but I just go through seasons where I'm, like, okay, I need to kind of, you know, go through my friends list, and, you know, look, look around me, and figure out who I need to keep and get rid of, you know, like, I do spring cleaning in my, in my, you know, friends group, my circle, every, every, you know, few months or so, or, you know, so, you know, for Capricorn, cutting people off is literally, literally, like, clockwork, we just don't, like, you know, we don't have the time, you know, <sighs> but, um, you know, if a Capricorn does truly care for you, and love you, and appreciate you, and value you, and your friendship, they will always come back after some time. If they don't value you and your friendship, if there is no trust, then nine times out of ten, when that Capricorn cuts you off, you are done. Alright? So, I'm sorry. I, I guess let that be a learning lesson to... And see, it's weird because I don't know what exactly you may have done or what may have happened, you know, because sometimes I do have to say Capricorns get mad and get upset and cut people off and just, you know, get mad, you know, sometimes over just really trivial stuff. But we see it as trivial. Why am I talking in third person when I'm a Capricorn? Maybe it's because I'm a Libra moon and Libra's just like, we're able to see from every perspective, basically, Libra's. But, um, we, or other people, see it as, you know, something trivial, but that, maybe that Capricorn is just, like, we don't know. So, you know, leave the Capricorn alone, alright, basically is what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's not always the Capricorn's fault, although people sometimes try and put it as always the Capricorn's fault. 
it's not always the Capricorn's fault. You have to look at your part in the situation and what you did or didn't do. You know? It really depends. I will say Capricorns hate getting ignored. Although they can sometimes ignore you. Which is weird, right? Um, they hate complainers. Can't stand complaining. They can't stand inconsistent people. People who aren't reliable. Mm. People who don't appreciate them. People who don't appreciate the things around them. People who don't appreciate anything or anyone. You know, they don't like those type of unappreciative people. You know, Capricorns are just very basic, simple people, really. You know, and I think people just don't understand that, maybe, for some reason. I don't know. But, you know... And know that, you know, Capricorns are not narcissistic people, you know, because they cut you off and kept it moving, you know, for those who are just angry at Capricorns for some reason, um, Capricorns literally just have no time for BS in their lives. Because they are people with a mission in life of their own. And so anyone or anything that will try to or seemingly deter from that mission has got to go. Now if you are benefiting the Capricorn's life in some way and improving it maybe even, hopefully... That's the way to really, you know, get a Capricorn for life is to somehow improve their life. Your presence just improving their life, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, like, enlightening them. They like to be enlightened by people, you know, so people they can learn from, you know. Not people that's going to be, like, energy vampires. Like, they're, they're going to cut people like that off, too. Energy vampires that just take, take, take. Nope. Block, delete, unfriend. No, thank you. <sighs> so, I don't know, what's one thing you can take from this situation? Well, one thing you can take from this situation maybe is to take a look at your own life and see, you know, is there anyone in your own life who maybe you need to, you know, block, delete, unfriend, get rid of, cut off, you know, and then maybe really... Just try and assess why the Capricorn, before you even reach out to the Capricorn and try and get some closure, just tr sit, take some time, sit down, have a seat, you know, maybe make some tea, boil some tea, you know, have a cup, glass of wine, whatever it is you need to just relax. And just really think, you know, what was it? What could I have done or not have done that would have made the Capricorn cut me off. And if you've sat for 30 minutes, or an hour, or two, or so, and you still can't come up with an idea of why, and I mean doing some serious thought, alright? Maybe then it's time to reach out to the Capricorn and, you know, get some closure. I'm not saying the Capricorn's going to answer. You know. But, a good place to start is right here within. Alright? With that being said, Capricorns... Sometimes it's nice to give people closure when you do decide to cut them off. Even maybe prior to cutting them off, I know that is easier said than done because we are who we are. <clears throat> but sometimes I will do that. Generally, I only do that with people I really, once again, like and really cherish and treasure and hold dear. I'm like, hey, you need to get it together. You're on, you're like, you're on your way to, like, cut off status. So please, like, you know... 
you know, address the situation with them. If they don't change, then okay, you know, cut them off, you know, if necessary. Which is, it's usually necessary. All right, right. Well, anyways, thank you guys for listening and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope someone got a little bit of clarity, hopefully in closure, and, or at least got the process started to closure, and um, a little bit of peace and harmony. Capricorns, I hope you, maybe you got some, uh, maybe a better way to deal with situations like these so you don't be so hurtful. Because sometimes it is a very hurtful and cool thing to do. Alright, so with that being said, thank you guys for listening and watching. Please contact me at lamartownsandtarot.com for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading. Thank you guys. Until the next video, see ya.